Hello everyone and welcome back to your Dine Mod. Today we're going to be playing on one of the new two player maps that have been introduced to the Adine Mod. Tar New Shell. Once home of many dwarves, these northern realms are now abandoned and have been taken over by wild creatures. Specifically orcs, wilds and trolls. Starting cap positions are camps and in expansion points you've got two outposts and 13 settlements. I will be playing as the Meeting Mountains again just to try and see if I miss anything from the last time or just to go over everything again. And I am actually really enjoying the Misty Mountains. They're really fun. Plus, this is, just to confirm what their camp looks like, it is the same as the uh, outpost. You've got only three build plots. Let's start with a goblin layer over here. Though those goblins are not as powerful as our Moria goblins. Imagine they're exactly the same. They just don't have the... Uh, they just lack the poison that we have. Let's get the dr drums of the Misty Mountains to start with. Because I think getting Untamed Allegiance is a very important thing to get. I'm going to start with the Hunter. I'm not going to go for a Pioneer straight away this time. Because I just kind of feel like it's a lot of money to invest. And there's not a lot of space right now. Unless I build it out here, and then that means it's going to get more focus. I don't know what I'm up against yet. If I'm up against someone like Angmar, I don't want to have my uh, economy up front, where it can just get plagued. You, so that, we've now got the Hunter. Make sure the Bounty ability is on, uh, just, just use on cooldown. Because it is just three levels. We're against Imladris. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know how well we're going to do against Imladris. I have I have mentioned before that I've played as Imladris against the Misty Mountains in the past. And I beat them. I beat the snot out of them. Uh, I don't know how well an Imladris is going to be against or playing as the Misty Mountains. I'm hoping I do well. I think the best thing I can do is work, act like Mordor and just spam. Just spam my gobbos. The only thing you need to be worried about is protection of the Bruin power in that regard. And Elrond. And Lawmasters. But we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have Gundabad and stuff soon. So we'll be fine. Let's get the Goblin King. Uh, the Chieftain. Not the, not the Goblin King. He doesn't exist. Uh, I used... Tracker, but I'm not seeing the nearby layer. Okay, now I am. It's over there by that settlement. Is there a layer up here? Yes, there is. There's wogs. Let's run away. Let's get rid of this goblin layer. And now let's get a pioneer. They've already built down there. I'll be taking that from them soon enough. Uh, I'm trying to think where I want to build. The Gundabad, not, not Gundabad, Goblin Town. I feel like you should always get Goblin Town first with the Pioneer. Because it's cheaper and it's an, it's an extra incentive to economy. It's really important that you get, that you do get it. Okay, we've now got the Chieftain. Let's get Goblin Town now. You have to look. This or this ear, that area, the Half Moon, that is, that, that is what tells you where you can build. So I'm going to build this down here. It's a bit dangerous having it there, but I think it'll be fine. If we build things properly, we'll be fine. So I mentioned it slightly. The Chieftain, his ability is that with his bow, he has a 4% chance of summoning or, uh, Goblin Archers. With his sword out, he has a 10% chance. We're getting swarmed in the base. Get away from that goblin lair. I'm not interested in it. Summon a drum. So we have extra speed and damage. Nice. That bounty helps us kill off that lawmaster really quickly. Nice and easy. The hunter has died. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's not get him back. He's not worth it. I'm better off spending my money on other things.
Oh, I messed up. I messed up. No, oh, maybe not. I still might get three slave holes out of this. That's value. Some more goblins, please. We've almost got three power points. That's when everything will start turning around. We can start recruiting more stuff from whatever layer we get. Yeah, those blade masters, as good as they are, are no match for the. Actually, no, they're still beating us. And the Goblin King was in melee. That's not a good idea. Chieftain. Chieftain, goddammit. Untame the legions. Throw it at the front, actually. What do we, we get? We got a troll. Oh, nice pick. Very nice pick. As long as we don't throw him into pikes, he'll, he's going to do some good damage. And we can also prepare to get the three troll brothers. Another really good thing for us. Now, if I was to demolish, to, to demolish this, I could potentially... That's the ring. That is too soon. That, that's, the, that's a ring far too soon. They're going to get bloody... Uh, what's his name? Elrond and then get all oh, fellowship. That's bad. That's really bad. I don't want the fellowship. I'm going to have Gorkin on his sword for a second to throw out down his totem. That's just even more damage for our gobos. And reveal stealth if they don't pick up the ring. I really hope they don't. Otherwise, this could be GG. Now, the Earth Lawn Master. Has their AoE been reduced inside? I think it has. Good. That means they can't do as much damage anymore. There we go. First summon of gobo archers. Give them poison arrows. That poison is going to, well, it's going to make the difference when fighting against those guys. Let's get Goblin King and another Pioneer so we can get Gundabad. We're not going to want to stay with trash forever. We're going to want proper stuff. Trolls and stuff. Monsters and stuff. We want, we want our best stuff. Chieftain, please stop fighting in melee. You're not on your sword. Oh, no, it's the twins. Oh, dear. That's why it was taking so much damage. They're trying to run away. They're not going to run away. Not with my extra speed. They're not. I'm just going to get goblins everywhere. Okay, we've got Gorpendale and another... Lawmaster. Lord and I'll stay away. Don't get caught up in that. We kill the twins. Good. Everyone fall back to the base. Get a pantry. Pioneer build Gundabad. Where's Glorfindel? I don't see him. Did you run away out of fear? Good, good. I think I need his Glorfindel on my tail. I do, however, want that lair to go away. I don't need it. I want it gone. Careful, troll. There are technically pikes there among them. I tell you when you must. Oh, oh, I can get another building. What do I get? Loot horde. Yeah, get get the loot horde. Get the loot horde. Also get a waggler. Okay, enlarge us to stop moving up, so we're going to prepare an, an army. Worthy of Gundabad. And also get more buildings, because, you know, buildings are life. Uh, Pact of Fature is almost ready, so I'm going to take that layer over. It'll save me a bunch of time dealing with it.
Let's see what we can see. Okay, keep one unit back so we can build this into a camp, just for extra money. And then build this into a goblin lair as well. How can they see me? Oh, because they've got something in the, so they've got something off in, in the distance. What is it? Archers. Let's beat them up. Build the the drum. Oh, we saw golem. Well, we can't use any golem yet, so. Oh, I found Glovendel again. Okay, they've just spawned the ring next to their base. That's bad for me for many reasons. Also, they're coming up with an army at my base. Let's just make sure this Lord Master disappears. Good, good. Now let's go back and deal with these elves. So even though we have got scaffolding and we've got gobbos protecting it, can't be safe. Let's get bold. I don't want to hear that nonsense. That your conspiracy theories don't matter to me. Use Untamed Allegiance. Save the Goblin King. Or the Great Goblin is not a king. He's just a goblin who's great. Nice smash. I'm going to stop it right now. That troll's not going to attack because he will die. Attack revenge damage. Okay, our goblin fact two two rival goblins layers are fighting each other. Don't really care either way as long as we get what I want. Let's get three pantries rolling out together. Oh, and yeah, I've not built anything on here yet. Oh, I can't move everything on here because of the troll there. There, that's fine. Bold is here. Good, good. Goblins are still rivaling of other goblins. Oh, command point cap reached again. Oh, not anymore, it's not. Oh, it's need a bit more money. There's a bit more. Kill them now. Get the free troll brothers. Since I want to squash someone into jelly. And also cook some jelly. Okay, all is well with the world. They're shooting water down on, upon my drum. I'm co completely fine with that. That doesn't affect me in the slightest. Gonna get uh, another troll. I, don't, oh, I didn't build another troll there, did I? No. Now I've got this troll layer here. I'm waiting for the troll brothers. Let's just get it. Go kill, might as well put you on your sword. Throw down a totem. Can't tell if that troll's actually healing or not. Now he's level 2, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Uh, Bill, Tom, and Bert. Tom has increased armor but lower attack. Bert is normal. Bill has more attack but lower armor. Against elves, we'd probably want more armor. But then again. 
it doesn't matter when it comes to revenge damage. Revenge damage is static damage. You don't have a choice over how much damage you take. You're just going to take a lot of damage. Except the foiler. You think the defiling days are done, do you? Let's make a tunnel. Into our mine network, which I still am convinced to never use. And that nearly gave the, the Great Goblin half a level at level 4. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, my old strategy of uh, waiting for the to destroy the Wargler so then the Wargs will die no longer works because the Wargs now will live after their lair is destroyed. I think I showed it off too much and showed that it really just helps me to get to what I needed to be, uh, help. It helped me succeed too much so they got rid of it, which I completely understand. It is very powerful when you do that let's get another pioneer so we can get a gun another goblin town built in time we're gonna get scavengers so we're making money and when you kill elves by the way you make a lot of money more money than anyone else the elves and ladris 24 on a kill on a horseman and 12 on a kill on a blade master that's four times the amount from the uh, the peasants of Rohan, I would like to point out. Oh, I feel bad I couldn't build that. Building. Drum over there. Oh, that lawn mass has got squashed. Go get rid of that goblin lair. The goblin lair doesn't do anything for us when we already have this many goblin lairs everywhere else. Smaug has arrived, and I'm on honestly surprised at how weak he is to archers. But elven archers are hard to come by with the uh, enlargers, so you're pretty you're pretty fine to have him around as doing whatever he wants. Oh, another thing to note is um, loot, loot pickups are a lot easier now in Edine. It's instant, similar to Age of the Ring. So that will help you with uh, speeding up that process. Finally got the Hunter back again. What layers are on the map? Tell me. Show me. There's just a troll there up there. Okay, I'll take that troll there. So that means I can take this and I build a fissure. Wait, there's still wild goblins. Oh, there are still wild goblins. Okay. Well, let's build another goblin town. And let's build it in a place where I have lots of space. So, right here. Oh yeah, this, this is the Goblin Drummer. I didn't actually show this off properly uh, in the overview video. But this guy, fellow units close to the drum will deal damage and armor. In, oh, smiles died. Where did he die? Yep, I had no control over him. I didn't attack move him properly. He has died. <laughs> oh my god, I'm terrible with Smaug. I've killed him off more times than I've killed it off any, more, any other hero. Nah, the, the, the Hunter's the second on the list for that. I've killed him off quite a few times too. I'll admit that. I'll admit it. Okay, this is going to be our loot hole spam location. How many can we build? We can build one. Build two. Can build three. Can build four. Can build. Oh, I can almost build five. Almost able to build five. That's just because of their size. They made them that big specifically so you can't just spam more than four to a settlement. 
Oh, there's a Bash of Aaron Mithra in there. Nice. That's a nice addition. They're neutral, so they won't accidentally kill Smaug when I sent when I bring them back. That's cool. Yeah, that's as much you can get from a Goblin Town. Uh, basically, you just go uh, slave hole spam. So we're a lot on the monsters this game, and the goblins, which is fine. We yeah, a lot of monsters this game. Not as many uh, base infantry, but a lot of monsters. And that first one was a thousand, and the second one is now like eight hundred. What? What's with that decrease? Oh, there we go. Slave holes reduce the cost of monsters. I need to read more things. <laughs> I need to read things out more because I I I I will learn a lot more if I do. I did not know it could do that. Run an untamed allegiance. See if that will deter them from moving away. Nice. And they think they can beat the wargs. Well, if these wargs didn't attack my base instead... Oh, come on, boy. Come on. Oh, my trolls went in alone. Oh, no. My trolls did a smaug and went in and died. I'm just going to get mountain giants. I want to win this using siege. Because I'm a bad boy. Let's just charge in now. They use protection of the Bruin and they have nothing else. Let's charge in. Charge in and kill them. You missing any heroes? No, only Smaug missing currently because just because he's dead. Squash them into jelly. I think there was something there I squashed. I can't tell. Do you see some jelly down there? Oh yeah, it larger uh, citadel looks a lot nicer now than what it did before. I do have to admit, it is a little nice. It is a lot nicer now than what it was. Uh, since we've got a drum there, drums in the deep. More damage, more armor. We've got bats for some reason. Everyone near that building has more damage. Ho. Oh. I know, I, know, I know the last game I showed off a lot more of just the elite units you can make. But this one, oh, this one's just showing off the monsters. This one's definitely more of a show of, mon of mon monster supremacy than it is anything else. Yeah, look at that. Just annihilated them. Yeah, mountain giants are just as powerful as they were in 3.8. And I'd say they're even more devastating now because Siege is powerful in this game. But unlike, you know, crap of forts and stuff, they actually are expensive. You have to pay a lot of money for them. Which you can decrease quite a bit. But you've got to actually invest in it instead of just having that instant cost reduction. So I'm pretty happy with uh, with this. I'm happy to spam Mountain Giants because one, you need an outpost for them. Two, they're still quite weak to archers, which other siege units are not. So they're, they're very similar to Ents in that regard. It's not even harder to get because you need the outpost, which on some maps you only get one, or sometimes none, but that's a very fringe case on like one map. Smile, land your ass. Sit your ass down as we win. Make another tunnel. And victory is ours! That was a much faster game than the last few I've been playing with the Misty Mountains. And I think that's pretty much covered everything now for the Misty Mountains, in case I missed anything from last time. You don't need to go a full elite army with the goblins. Look at that, we've won in 23 minutes with just a monster spam. I'm telling you, the Fissure and Mountain Giants, they're going to get nerfed. They feel far too strong as they are. Their damage is definitely superior to most siege units, but only because they're monsters like Ents. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Farewell.